ones that we work on. To the end we're doing. So today I'm on the back of the camp seas with uh, Mr. Joe on the go and uh, we're heading up a, a wee hill that I've not done before. What was the name of it again, Joe? Kernock. Kernock. That's not bad, you normally need to tell Joe about five times before he minds. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's not a, a high hill by any means. Just over the 400 metres, I think, and most of it's on this type of forestry tra track, so views are minimal. And the, the low cloud today, even when we, we do get a break, I'm giving us too much a too much a view. But we'll push on, see if we can get the top. Not long after leaving the car, we came across the remains of Sir John de Graham's castle. The, this castle was originally known as Dundaff Castle, and Sir John himself was killed at the Battle of Falkirk. The castle is a, a motte style castle, which was basically a raised platform. And in this case, it had a, a moat around it with the uh, escarpments. It was pretty square in shape and would have more than likely been accessed by a wooden bridge. It's certainly worth a visit and at one time must have held commanding views over the, the lands of Strathcarn. So for anyone that does make it up, it's, uh, it's a wee 20 minutes, half hour well spent. And for anyone that doesn't, I hope you enjoy the video. And there we have just come round the corner there. Some views, some misty views down onto Carn Reservoir. So that's looking sort of west to east along the reservoir and if I skip round the other side of Joe I'd like to show you the west but unfortunately it's in cloud so there we go but just keep on pushing on up this way a bit Oh, so that's us just came out there. Uh, well, still in the mist, but just broke through enough to, to see this trig point there. That's been a, a fine wee walk. Once you actually leave the forest path, there's not much there's not much height at all until you, you actually hit the cairn. Hello, Joe. But superb. There we go. And the trig point is OSBSM 364Z, uh, sorry, 3647. Well, I'd love to say we had amazing views, <laughs> but this is literally as good as it gets. So, just get a, a wee five minutes, get a quick drink and then we'll, we'll head off.
Well, thanks for joining us and uh, we'll catch you the next time. So from myself and Joe, Bye. see you later. The last, uh, the last wee bit was meant to be the last post, but we've come back down there and uh, we've just dropped out the mist. So the view that I couldn't show you in the way up, I'm just going to spin you around and show you now. So that's it. Now, over there, if you're going from Todd Hole Car Park, you'd eventually come out across the, the wee burn that you see just over there. And Miko Bin is just up beyond it. I mean, just up beyond it is still a, another couple of miles, but it's just up beyond it. Sounds good. Uh, down over the, the west end of the Carn Dam there, or Carn Reservoir, that's you looking down the, the Finstry Strath. So, on the, at the end of the, the reservoir, you, you look up to the, the left, that's you on the, the back side of the Campsey Fells, heading up to uh, the Corrie of Boglass and Ontario Seat. And on the, the right hand side, that's the Fintry Hills and Strown End. So, but it's lovely. But we'll swing you around. That's you coming around the Mikko Bin under the mist. The Carn Reservoir, and that's you looking onto the, the back of the Coseth Hills over there. It's lovely. Unfortunately, as I swing around, the, the views start to, to get a bit worse again. Sorry, Joe! <laughs> offended, by the way. And that's it. So, we'll sign off now. And definitely see you the next time.